Well, today, I've got another taco video for you. And this here is probably one of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. All I've got here is beef cheeks, cow face, whatever you want to call it. First time cooking it, and it will not be the last. Let me tell you, today's recipe is a must try. And as usual, mojo fashion is simple, simple ingredients, it just takes a little time. So, with that being said, all we gotta do is cook it. Let's do it. Head down to your local Sam's or Mexican tienda or marketplace and pick you up some of these gnarly looking beef cheeks. Yes, they are gnarly looking, but the end result makes it worth this whole process. So there's like three parts of this beef cheeks, what I come to figure out. So I'm gonna separate it here and see what I can make out of it. So this piece here is a big fat piece. I think we can uh, get us a nice little chunk. Let's just start working off some of this fat. As I can see, there's no meat in that, so we'll lay it to the side. Cut this out, and that was a waste of my time. That's just like a figment of your imagination. There's no meat in that one. But how about this one? You know, I started out, I thought my knife was sharp, but this beef cheek is tough. All right, so let's speed it up. Get off all the fat, silver skin, sinew, stuff you don't want. You can't get it all, but we'll get most of it. And this is what we've got. I think this is the part of the beef cheek that we cook. And there you have it. That's the trimming of a beef cheek. And people say, what do you do with all the leftovers, Mojo? I throw mine away the majority of the time. All right, back to everything else we're gonna show you. This is what I've got. Out of five pounds of beef cheeks, I may have a pound and a half. That's it. All right, so let's season it up, get ready to cook. All we're gonna do, we're gonna take some coarse kosher salt, some 16 mesh, black pepper, just put as much or as little as you want. And I picked this up at Sam's too. It's a uh, cilantro lime seasoning. It says it's good on vegetables, so if it can make vegetables good, phew, meat's gonna be awesome. Just hit both sides, the salt, the pepper, and the cilantro lime. And that's it. That's it for seasoning. Well, let's go out here and let's put her on the pit. So today, we're cooking on the old rusty drum. This baby's been around for a while. I built it for like 25, 50 bucks, like 10 years ago. And it still turns out some of the best food I've cooked. Well, the sun's a little bright out here too, but all yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on here, take those little thin pieces and roll them up, make them a little thicker and they'll uh, cook a little more even. Get your neutral density filter out. Here you go, it's on the grill. Let's put the lid on it at 275 degrees. We're gonna let this soak for two hours. And after two hours in hickory smoke, this is what you got. Some nice, barky hockey pucks. Pretty much inedible, the way I'm seeing it. So, let's get these babies tender. Get you a half pan, Dutch oven, whatever you got. Throw those hockey pucks over in it. And get you some of this better and bouillon, what is it, roasted beef base? A little nice lady at Walmart recommended it to me. Boil you some water and mix it up per the instructions. And we're gonna put in two cups in this pan and we sped up the, the uh, cooking process because it was hot. Put you in two shallots because baby onions are better and four to eight cloves of garlic. Why? You know, vampires and health benefits and all that kind of stuff. We really, oh yeah, we're gonna put a little bit more of this cilantro lime in it because if you've watched me long enough, I love cilantro and lime. We need a little heat, so let's run in here and get your favorite hot sauce and give her a good dousing. And that's it. We're gonna wrap her up good and tight. We're gonna put her back out on the grill or you can put it in your oven. Let's just crank it up to about 350 degrees and let her roll for two more hours. Once that two hours is up, let's bring it out. And why I couldn't center this up, I have no clue. And this is not slow motion. That's just, I'm that slow. I guess it's the country boy in me. And this is what we've got. To know it's done, it's just gonna, that thermal pin is just gonna just fall down in there. It's like no resistance whatsoever. About 210 degrees is where I was at. So let's let this chill out for about 15 minutes and cool off. 
And there it is. So now we just have to convince our fingertips that this is not going to burn and just start shredding it. And man, it's kind of like you're shredding brisket burn in. It's just that old sticky gelatinous goodness. All right, let's hurry and get that pulled because, you know, I'm ready to make a taco, but first I got to get a bite. This is my first beef cheek and man, dude, lick him finger, son. Why hasn't anybody told me about this? This is awesome. Thank you, Bradley Robinson, Judge Barbecue, for turning me on to these. All right, let's build a taco. Get you a flour tortilla, because they're butter and corn. Get you some of those barky end pieces. Put on there, and then get you some of that inner gelatinous meat. Layer it on there. So now we're going to make it simple. Just a little queso fresco, or crumbly cheese. A little salsa verde that you can get out of the bottle. You can buy it at Walmart. A little cilantro for vegetables. And some lime juice, just to knock off a little bit of that richness. And that's it. That's all you need for a good taco, in my opinion. You don't want a garden on your taco, or you just eat a salad. So get this baby up so I can get it in my mouth. And let's see how all this goes together. Yep, that's it. We got the, the freshness for the cilantro. We got that lime that cuts back, so we got a little acidity, a little tanginess. Oh, man, the richness of this fatty just... <clears throat> it's the reason I got a belly. is because I like food like this. It's that good, guys. You've got to try it. You know, and just make up your own recipe. That's what I did. Just use what I use or use what you like. And that's it. I'm going to finish this baby off and uh, get out of here. I just want to thank you all for stopping by and watching. You know, we're almost at 10,000. Uh, that's awesome. Y'all guys, y'all make me smile every day. So once again, simple ingredients. Meat, cheese, vegetables, limes, and verde, and that's it. I just want to let you know, Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Mojo is out.